Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem. We have to find out how many four digit numbers are neither perfect squares nor perfect cubes. Now first we have to understand how many four digit numbers are there. Then after that we have to find out how many perfect squares are there. Then how many perfect cubes are there. Then once we found out all these separately we should be able to find out how many four digit numbers are neither perfect squares nor perfect cubes. To start with what are four digit numbers? Four digit numbers should have four digits. Any value can be between 1 to 9. So our the first one should be 1, the remaining numbers can be 0 to 9. So 1000 to 9999. That means total how many four digit numbers are there? 9999 minus 1000 plus 1 that is equals to 8000. So 8000 four digit numbers are there. Now we have to find out how many of them are perfect squares. Let us start with 1000 and 9999. We have to find out how many perfect squares are there. So to do that first we will take 1000 and try to find out its square root. We will use long division. 3, 3 is our 9. We have 100. 3 will become double, will become 6. Then we need to place a number in such a way that it is less than or equal to 100. So that is 61 and we have 39 as the remainder. So 31 square is less than 1000. That means 32 square will be our first number. So can we write down 32 square is our first number, first perfect square after 1000. Now let's see what will be our last perfect square. For that we will take 9999 and try to find out its square root. 9999 try to find out square root by using long division dividing into group of 2. 9 9s are 81. We have 18. 99 will come down. 9 double is 18 and we have to place a digit in such a way that the product is less than or equal to 1899. Now 189 into 9 is equals to 1701 1701 so we have a remainder of 198 so the perfect square just before 9999 is obtained by subtracting that remainder whatever we have that is 9801 but that is equals to 99 square actually we don't need to do that we know that 99 square is less than 10,000 because we are getting remainder. So the numbers are starting from 32 square and they are going up to 99 square. So let's write down that squares 32 square 33 square 34 square like that. We have to go up to 99 square. Now 32 square is in first number then what will be in the 99 square which number it will be how I can get 30 so there are two ways of doing it one we can directly do 99 minus 32 plus 1 that is equals to 68 numbers we know 68 perfect squares another way what we can do 32 square 33 square 99 square the first number 32 square is having first position then 99 square will be in which position 32 minus 31 is 1 so 99 minus 31 that will be the 68th number so therefore there are 68 numbers so there are two ways you can do if this is a and this is b b minus a plus 1 is the direct formula you can use or you can also do in 
the way where 32 square you want to bring it to first position so 32 minus 31 is 1 so 99 minus 31 is 68 1 to 68 there are 68 numbers so perfect squares are 68 so let's add them now we'll find out how many perfect cubes we have to find out perfect cubes so again we'll start 1000 to 9999 1000 is 10 cube we know so 10 cube 2 now 9999 now we know 10000 is suppose let us say 1000 we know cube root is 10 and for 10 cube root will be between 2 and 3 so that should be between 20 cube and 30 cube we know 20 cube is 8000 30 cube is 27000 so this is 10000 is near to 8000 so we'll check for either 21 cube or 22 cube 21 cube is 9261 441 into 21 22 cube is 22 into 22 484 484 into 22 9680 plus 968 10648 so we are crossing 10000 so we can go up to 21 cube now 10 cube to 21 cube that means how many numbers will be there 21 minus 10 plus 1 that is equals to 12 numbers so there are 12 numbers which are perfect cubes so let's write down that 12 now we are not done because we have some numbers which are already counted two times that means they are part of perfect squares we have added them and also we consider them as part of perfect cube so we have to remove that redundancy that means we have to find out numbers which are both squares and also cubes now we want to find out the numbers which are both perfect squares and cubes so if a number has to be a square that means it should be written as some x square and if it is also cube then it should be written as some y cube but if it has to be both square and cube then it should be written as power of 6 that means that number can be written as power of 6 of numbers we want these numbers to be between 1000 and 9999 so let us check what is 1 power 6 2 power 6 3 power 6 and 4 power 6 1 power 6 is 1 2 power 6 is 64 3 power 6 is 729 and 4 power 6 is 4 cube whole square that is 4096 so only 4096 is the number which is there in both squares and cubes if we go to 5 power 6 then that will become 15625 that is becoming a five digit number so there is only one number which is both perfect square and also perfect cube that is 4096 which is 4 power 6 so there is only one number once we know number of four digits are 8000 and number of perfect squares are 68 i have written earlier 80 i have corrected it perfect cubes are 12 and one number is counted twice that is 4096 so the four digit numbers which are neither perfect square nor perfect cubes how many of them are there 8000 minus 68 plus 12 we have to subtract that redundancy we have so 8000 minus 79 which is equals to 7921 so there are 7920 numbers 21 numbers between 1000 and 9999 or four digit numbers which are neither perfect squares nor perfect cubes let's have a recap of this problem we have been asked to find out how many four digit numbers are neither perfect squares or nor perfect cubes total number of four digits are 8000 perfect squares are 68 perfect cubes are 12 and one number is both a perfect square and also a perfect cube that is 
4096 which can be written as 16 cube or 64 square so then the number of four digit numbers are 8000 minus of 68 plus 12 minus 1 which is equals to 7921